Tata Motors is setting up a car manufacturing plant in Tamil Nadu, investing 9,000 crore rupees. Joining us, Tamil Nadu's Industries Minister, Mr. T.R.B. Raja. Thank you very much for your time. How important is this? Oh, this is very important. Uh, just two months, uh, just a few, one month after, uh, we broke ground for uh, Winfast. Uh, we have another giant coming into Tamil Nadu. And this, sh this shows how big Tamil Nadu ecosystem has become and uh, uh, how the regime under the Honorable Chief Minister has been uh, when it comes to ease of doing business. So this is also shows the kind of speed that in which things are uh, happening in Th Tamil Nadu. Um, even this discussion was uh, quite quick. Uh, they came, they saw the place, they liked it, they, we gave them uh, our best package possible. Uh, and they even saw the talent pool that's available in Tamil Nadu and they chose... What kind of incentives you're giving? No, incentives are not discussed <laughs> widely, but we gave them the best possible and I think we gave them a very good deal uh, when it comes to um, a balance between uh, the location, uh, where it's coming, um, and then the incentive package and the talent that's available in Tamil Nadu and the ecosystem that's already in place. What kind of jobs and do they plan to take over the Ford plant? No, I don't think it's the fourth plant. It's a, it's a brand new unit, uh, ground up. Uh, it's not the fourth plant. Um, and uh, jobs around 5,000 plus jobs is what they've offered in, in, the, in the first phase. And uh, I'm expecting all, uh, most of it, I mean, much of it to be uh, high. These electric cars and what kind of jobs are we looking uh, at? That's for, that, that's for them today. I think we'll have to wait for the Tata Motors uh, press release to come through. One political question, the Prime Minister who tours Tamil Nadu frequently, he accuses the ruling DMQ of scuttling several Tamil Nadu, I mean, central government projects. He also takes on you on issues of corruption and family politics. You forgot to say uh, the Prime Minister is doing the rounds now. So it's just now, when it's just around the corner, when you have elections in a month, have you seen the Prime Minister's uh, face here in Tamil Nadu, otherwise we haven't seen him. We didn't see him we, when we needed him, especially during the floods. Shouldn't he have come then? What's he doing here now? And that's exactly what the people of Tamil Nadu are asking now. They're very clearly asking, why is he here now when, when, when he couldn't come here when we needed him uh, during the um, huge natural disasters? And yet he's still coming here waving his hands. We wanted him to come uh, with uh, bags of relief, especially from the union. We want our money back. It's our money. We give him uh, one rupee, he gives us only 28 paisa back. And we want the rest of it back. And we want it, we, we just wanted it uh, when, when the disaster struck, right? And if help doesn't come timely, then what sort of help is it? Corruption, so, scuttling. No, listen, listen, listen. So these are all, the, the rest of the mudslinging that he's been doing or, the, or his party has been doing is all only to deviate uh, uh, you know, away from the issue at hand, which is center state relations. Um, we give, the center doesn't. So center is robbing states, is what I would say. And we just want the prime minister to be fair to all states. And we expect our fair share. That's it. So I believe whatever the prime minister has been saying, um, which he, he should probably look at a mirror and say that, um, and also think uh, about... Specifically on corruption, family politics is what he's taking on. That's exactly what I'm saying. He should look at the mirror and talk. <laughs> Lastly, there is a widespread allegation that uh, a former DMQ functionary was involved in drug smuggling to the tune of around 2,000 crore rupees. Even the DMQ's first family have close links with him. He has given uh, funds for the, the NCB. Say, says uh, the NCB yeah. that the first family has no, I don't think, have, when was the last time an NCB uh, officer sat out to give you interviews on a, on a first hand, you know, just after a, oh, just after a recovery? When was the last time you did that? Especially, don't you think elections and all this, don't you think it's, it's, it's a huge drama? I mean, we trust the law. First of all, the guy who's, who was involved, he's been thrown out of the party and he was only part of it for a very short time, I think. And he's been thrown out immediately, not suspended, he's been dismissed, mm -hmm. right? And there's no connection with the, uh, the family or anything, uh, even though the Prime Minister and his whole party would like to talk about it just because the elections are around the corner. But I will just tell them one thing. Tamil Nadu is an amazing, amazing state. And we're growing beautifully. And we're growing not only for us, for ourselves, we're growing for India, right? Please do not defame the state. Right? Keep your politics between politicians. Don't bring my state into it. Don't, don't bring our state. It's your state too. 
Tamil Nadu is doing brilliantly well in everything. We are the ones who are giving so much to India. Why do you want to defame a state? Are we, do, you, do you see drugs being so easily peddled here? No, drugs is a national issue, right? And 3,000, 4,000 crores worth of drugs is being peddled through Gujarat, the Prime Minister's own state. Do, we, do, do I say Gujarat is gone? Gujarat is all, do I say that? No, we don't say that because Gujarat, we know, is also giving to India. And we want India to grow, right? Not just this India. We want that India to grow too, right? Our India to grow. And for that to grow, Gujarat as a state, Tamil Nadu as, a, as the engine of, of India, the growth of India, right? And we want, don't defame the name of the state just because you want to do all cheap uh, you know, politics. Keep the politics away from the state. Keep my state away. Say but they're specifically away. targeting. That's what they're doing. It's just, it, that, there's nothing but mudslinging. There's nothing but mudslinging. It's, it'll just happen for the next two weeks. Probably up to the election, they'll try to, they don't have anything else to say. They don't have any growth story to talk about. The union does not have any positive growth story of theirs to talk about. And hence, they just do mudslinging all over the place. And this is their own politics. Last, last question. Go. Can the state government not implement CAA after the law has been passed and notified? When the Honorable Chief Minister says it, he means it. Right? Come what may, we will. How can you do that? It's for the Chief Minister. You'll see how we do it. Thank you so much for your time. That was Mr. T.R. Biraja, Tamil Nadu's Industries Minister, talking to us in Chennai with Suresh Sam Daniel, Findy TV.